a look from the YSU Stadium over the city tonight and uh, just a few raindrops have fallen so far, but that heavier rain uh, pushing our way right into the early morning hours just as you head off to work or school. Temperature at 49 degrees. We started the day 10 degrees below normal, 26 degrees this morning. Nothing like that uh, tomorrow morning. Here's a look at temperatures for your neighborhood across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania, uh, generally in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees in most spots for us tonight. Down into Columbiana County, a little bit warmer, but the raindrops, as I mentioned, already knocking on the door, and those will continue to push on in as we go into tomorrow. Here's a look at Doppler radar right now across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Up into Trumbull County, some light rain now falling into the city of Warren and just north of there across Mosquito Lake here around Cortland, up around the Champion area, and then down toward Girard tonight. A few showers making their way across Mahoning County, too, uh, stretching along 62 between uh, Salem and Canfield, then up toward Youngstown and the eastern part of Mahoning County around the Poland area. Down into Columbiana County, yet a few showers moved through, but those have now lifted off to the north. The rain continues to build here in central Ohio, and the storm system's coming together tonight and will continue continue to produce heavier rain across the state and then sweep it eastward right into the first part of tomorrow morning. Now, here's a look at future tracker for us. We go through the rest of tonight toward the morning hours. Watch how the rain just gets heavier by 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Then eventually 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning as you join Rich Morgan at 27 First News. This yellow, an indication of moderate rainfall to start your Tuesday morning, and that moderate rainfall will continue for a few hours for us at tomorrow morning and continue to push into western Pennsylvania 7 and 8 o'clock to tomorrow morning. Dumping close to a half inch in some spots as that moves through tomorrow morning and then start to taper off a little as we go toward late morning and into the midday hours for us. Early tomorrow afternoon, the rain will become much more scattered in the variety and continue that uh, trend into tomorrow night as some drier weather uh, finally works on in. But you want to watch for some patchy fog for your Tuesday night. And then as we go into Wednesday, I'm expecting a lot of sunshine to return. So that's storm system number one. The second one, it moves in for Thursday. Here's a look at rain tracker, though. This is the story tomorrow morning. Moderate rainfall adding up. Most spots will at least get a half inch of rainfall. Some spots closer to three quarters to an inch. If you get stuck underneath some of those heavier rain bands into the early morning. Overall, definitely a wet drive. Give yourself a little extra time heading off to work or school. Temperatures tonight, 47 degrees. Rain likely, of course. And that rain will continue 100% chance of that first thing tomorrow morning. Highs in the mid 50s. And again, watch that rain early. Could be heavy at times across the area. Now, by the time we go into Wednesday, we'll get the system out of here. That's good news. 57, your high temperature on Wednesday. Uh, lots of sunshine expected after we get through some morning fog for your Veterans Day. Thursday, the next system moves through. And just looking at the latest data here, it looks like a uh, that storm will mainly move through during the early part of Thursday, but it's going to pack a punch with it. Small chance of a thunderstorm. It's going to be a windy one. Wind gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour Thursday with that system, and then turning much cooler, 43 on Friday. Saturday's high, 40 degrees. Before we get into the 50s, Sunday and Monday, might be a few snowflakes mixing in on Saturday. Yeah, it happens. That time, it's that time. We'll get year. that right. Yeah. That's right. Not that a lot of people want to hear about it. No. But it does <laughs> that time. Well,